Hi guys, this is Nice Sharma, and in this session, we will discuss what is the switch control action in Power Automate and how to use that one. What is the switch control action? Switch control action is a matching or pattern based action. In switch control, we have a multiple choice or we can say multiple cases, and for each and every case, we have a related block. So, switch controls take the output or input from the outside then it will decide or it will check the which value is matching or which choice or which case is matching then it will execute that related block of that choice and will ignore rest of the blocks now we can check the list of the flow we require for creating the switch flow we need the manual trigger flow first step then in a slash variable third one switch control we will apply the switch control and the last one the fourth one will maintain or write the details into a google sheet now we will check the actual flow diagram for the practical we will do and we have a say step one manually trigger a flow in this step we have two variable we will declare product and the price second step in this slice variables name of the variable is the category and value for that one is the other or it could be a default value then we apply switch control in switch control there could be multiple cases first case the product this product is coming from this first step if the product equal to pen is yes then the flow will move to the related block that is the set variable in case of the yes and we are assigning the stationary to this category variable this category variable we have initialized on the step 2 if suppose we supply product equal to mouse it means the first condition is not true so switch control will ignore this block and then move, move to the next case statement next case statement product equal to mouse yes so again set variable category equal to computer then write the details into the google sheet so in this case it will ignore the third case and the first case suppose we supply the value other than the pen and mouse it could be any value then switch control will check this case no ignore this one check this case no ignore this case then finally case product equal to other it could be any value other means any value default values in. then set variable and finally write the details into the google sheet before we start practical of the flow first of all we check the google sheet and in google sheet we have the three fields that is the product category and the price and the name of the google sheet is the switch sheet now we check how to use the switch action control in power automate flow create instant cloud flow name then manually trigger create and first step add input product second one price then new step we will declare the variables or we will initialize the variables so variables initialize name category type string value set default or we can say other new step switch control control and switch so you can observe we have the by default we have the two case case one and the default if the case one is two then it will execute that block otherwise it will skip the case one block and is uh, move to the default so case we can rename these cases so 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल के से पेन एंड पेन देन इन द स्विच वी हैव द ऑन 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 विच वेरिएबल हैज टू बी कंपेयर सो वी विल टेक द प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज वी विल कंपेयर द प्रोडक्ट विद द वैल्यू पेन माउस और अदर वैल्यू से चूज ए वैल्यू एंड प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज दैट इज द इनपुट वैल्यू वी विल सप्लाई दिस वैल्यू देन द प्रोडक्ट विल बी कंपेयर विद द वैल्यू पेन so if it is that this case it like if the case one is true then action at an action variables in variables set variable and category then we assign the category to this variable say stationary and if this is not the case then we add one more case we can add multiple cases so for now we are taking the two cases for pen and mouse mouse add action variable set variable and category in case of the mouse say computer then finally we have the default it means if the value of the product is not pen or mouse then other than pen and mouse then default is executed in case of the default assign the other category variable set variable and uh, category say other now all three cases have been completed and the final step write the details into the google sheet so new step google sheet insert row pick file then sheet so we have the three fields from this sheet product category and price already we checked that one now in product so product we will take it dynamically product then category we will take it from variable again dynamic category and price again from input box price now to so this is done now this is complete now now save this one test so we have the two input box for product and the price so first of all we will supply pen and value price say 1000 run flow and if we check the status of the flow so all steps have the green tick mark now we check our google sheet and we supply the pen then category it was decided in the case statement that is the stationary and we have the price now we recheck or we retest flow now this time mouse and say 2000 again all steps green then check google sheet now we have second entry mouse and this time category is the computer okay so we have the case for the mouse and pen but if you supply the value other than pen and mouse then that is the default okay again retest test so we supply say chair 
and value say price whatever it is now we check switch and if we check the case pan cross not executed false case mouse for the mouse not executed that is the cross and default it is executed for the chair and finally the data written to the google sheet that is the green tick mark now we check the google sheet and we have the third entry the chair and the category is the other and then this is the price so this is how you can create the flow with the switch control action so guys this was all about the switch control action in the power automat thanks for watching the video